Guys, what is going on? This is your boy Gunna Two Times bringing you another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about some Black Ops Three. Now today, Black Ops Three actually had an update. They fixed a couple things in their game. It's been two years since Black Ops Three has been released, and they're still fixing their game. They're still adding DLC. They're still adding things to their game. You know, they they're nerfing guns. They're buffing guns. They're fixing the multiplayer connectivity, load up times. Stuff like that, you know, to keep the game fresh because Black Ops 3, it still has that huge community that actually goes back to that game and play it. So why not keep it fresh for the newcomers that might get it for Christmas or whenever they get it, they'll be able to fill the game and let the game be at its best. Now this right here is a couple things, you know, some of the guns has been nerfed and some of them have been buffed, you know, like the XMC, you know, it slowed down the reload time and the bullet penetration you know stuff like that the little things to make the gun that's overpowered now i'm glad treyarch is trying to make a statement with with these things you you know there is a two-year-old game they're still keeping it going they're still keeping it fresh it's just really like inspiring to keep call of duty alive you know it's been a bumpy road since call of duty world war ii has been out a lot of crit criticism has been given to this game i've given it a lot of criticism you know i just feel like this game is a couple patches away from being one of the best call of duties in a very long time or in general you know but black ops 3 you know it came with the futuristic a lot of people didn't really like it but then a lot of people started to like it because it had that it had that futuristic feel but then it had that that quick timing you know, the maps was great, the guns, everything, the kill streaks, everything about Black Ops 2, I mean Black Ops 3 was, was really good. Now this right here is the bottom half of the update and patch, you know, it it just shows that they love their game and they're trying to make their game better. And I'm, I'm glad for Treyarch that's still buying their game. It makes them look really good. It makes them look like a professional company, unlike some other Call of Duties that was done pretty bad and they haven't been updated. You know, people still play and show the game love, and it's not being updated. But hey, I'm not I'm not gonna criticize them. You know, they got to do what they got to do. But I'm really glad for Trials for updating their game. They're really showing a true Call of Duty producing company or whatever you want to call them. They're actually doing a damn job. Two years down the line, now we get we get some next year too. COD 2018, Treyarch is is making a COD too now. I mean, come on. The game is gonna be dope. Truck has never made a bad Call of Duty. We all know that. You know, I'm I'm happy for them and what they're doing over there in their studios. And hopefully David Vonderhaar, you know, give gives us a trailer next year somewhere. You know, a little a little sneak peek or something what they got cooking in them studios. But this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video. Please like and subscribe and comment ideas below. And I'm out, man. Peace.